Hi, welcome to Verse of the Day. My name is Brandon Hathaway. I'm the preacher here at the West Side Church of Christ in Owensboro, Kentucky. I want to thank you for joining me as we open up the Bible and study the Word of God. Today we are in 1 John chapter 2. 1 John chapter 2 and looking at verses 1 and 2. And again, there's just a, there's a lot in this chapter, a lot of different points that, that can be brought out as it talks about the Antichrist, talks about the love of the world, talks about our salvation, um, talks about love and hate, and there's just a bunch of different points that can be brought out in this chapter. Um, so I encourage that you read the entire chapter, but we're going to be looking at verses 1 and 2. It says, My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. And if anyone sins, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he himself is the propitiation of, uh, for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for those of the whole world. And so, the point that I want to focus in on these two verses is basically the very first part. I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. I mean, that, that's the key thing. As we, we study the Word of God, we, we study the Scriptures, and, and we go forward and to teach others. Yes, we are doing these things to help people get to heaven. Help myself get to heaven. Help you get to heaven. Help any others to get to heaven. To do what is right. And so with that means we are teaching these things. I am writing these things so that you may not sin. Because sin, the consequences of sin is death. It's been that way since the beginning. When, when Adam and Eve were in the garden, God said, you shall surely die. Romans tells us that the sin brings forth death. And, and so therefore, that is a, so we are doing these things, teaching these things, so that you may not sin. But again, we can go back to Romans. Again, it tells us all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And so, even when we have, not that this is an excuse to continuously just go forth and sin left and right and everything we do. But when those times come that we fall and we need to correct ourselves, it gives us a, that point of hope because we have an advocate, right? Our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the righteous, he himself, there being the appropriation of our sins for our sins. And for all. And so we do these things so that we can overcome temptation. But don't forget when we do fall short, we have the Lord to lean on, to go to, to go through so that our sins can be forgiven. So that we can go through him to gain strength to overcome the temptations this day forward. And so it's just a, a wonderful reminder and just a... Uh, a small point out of this entire chapter. So again, please read the rest of the chapter. Take the time to study it. I hope everybody has a blessed day. The Lord's will. I'll talk to you later.